But first, voters may have rejected changes to Colorado's oil and gas industry last November, but today the battle moves to the state capitol. Today, a Senate committee hears its first reading on what's being called the most sweeping oil and gas reform in our state's history. Denver 7's Nicole Brady live for us this morning. And Nicole, Democrats now in control of the state legislature, but we expect opponents to put up a big fight here. Absolutely, Brian. Already several opponents, uh, several oil and gas industry groups, as well as Republicans, have urged Democrats here at the state legislature to postpone today's first hearing on that bill. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. I think the hearing will get underway today. Uh, Senate Bill 181, no doubt, would have a, a major impact on the state's oil and gas industry, largely because it puts so much control in the hands of local governments. Currently, the state regulates the oil and gas industry. This bill would give local government's authority over the location of new wells and allow them to impose fines if needed. Another big piece of this bill is that it directs the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission to prioritize health and safety and the environment when considering oil and gas permits. House Speaker Democrat Casey Becker, who is co-sponsoring this bill, says the oil and gas industry will get its chance to weigh in. You know, we did not show the bill to industry beforehand, but we talked about concepts and certainly welcomed all their idea, you know, said provide us with ideas um, and they provided a few and I think they're going to be providing a lot more in the next few days. <laughs> Yeah, so this bill will have its first hearing today in the Senate Transportation and Energy Committee. And dueling rallies are expected to happen here at the state capitol before that hearing this afternoon, both from opponents and supporters of the bill. But if you thought that Prop 112 back in November was the end of this, uh, certainly not. This is the big battle. This is the future of regulation of oil and gas in our state. And it starts today. Molly and Brian, back to you. Still lots to come. And we've heard from viewers who feel these decisions should be made by voters and not the state legislature. And just as Nicole mentioned, you'll remember back in November, Colorado voters turned down Prop 112. That would have increased the setbacks oil and gas wells had to be from homes. So the new oil and gas bill is something we plan to go 360 on today. You can share your views by emailing 360 at the Denver or by reaching out on Facebook or Twitter.